I introduced uh, string gauge last time. I mentioned with the string gauge, the change in resistance is a very, very small. Uh, can be one of uh, one million. Uh, if we try to use uh, a multimeter to, me to measure such a small change, you wouldn't be able to do so. Now, one way to measure a very small change in resistance is by Wheatstone wind, wind bridge circuit. Wheatstone. I didn't check uh, which uh, which year uh, Windstone was born, which year he died. Uh, many years ago, I received uh, a prize from uh, IEE. At uh, that time, it's called IEE. Uh, that is called the Windstone Merriment Prize. Oh, this is uh, a typical uh, Windstone bridge with the uh, four arms as uh, R1, uh, R, R, R. And here is uh, R plus Delta R. Here the Delta R, normally this is a very, very small, maybe one of one meaning of uh, R. So that's why we need uh, such a circuit, like a bridge circuit to measure small change. The following, this is uh, an instrumentation amplifier. Yeah, basically, it's a plus minus. You, this uh, take uh, the difference between those two. Here, R is called the nominal resistance. R, 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 plus. Uh, here, plus a little change. Delta R is a change in resistance. Normally, delta R is much smaller than R. That can be one of one meaning. For example, a string gauge can give you a very small change in resistance. Here, VS, VS is a, a DC voltage source, which must be very stable. You need a very stable DC voltage source. And A is again, A is again of uh, instrumentation amplifier with a very high input impedance. You have a very high input impedance, that means you wouldn't draw current here. There's no current here, no current here. Yeah, because here is a instrumentation amplifier. <coughs> because the input impedance of uh, instrumentation amplifier is very high, we can analyze two parts, uh, wind, wind stone bridge part and I part. That means we can draw a line we can draw a line, we try to find out what is uh, um, a circuit performance there, what is the behavior here, you can draw a line because there is no loading effect. Loading effect, that means from a second stage, you take current from a first stage, that would cause a loading effect. So for this uh, windstone bridge, now uh, we can write uh, two equations uh, to describe this uh, circuit. At first, we look at uh, this branch, this branch here, this branch. Uh, uh, because there is no current, uh, here there is no current, so we don't need to consider here. Uh, now, VF, obviously, the thick part of uh, VS. Uh, VF equals VS, you times this is R, divided by overall this R plus R. R plus R. So this will be VS divided by two. Yes, you have a simple relationship. Okay, that is the first equation here is Vs equals one over two Vs. Uh, Vf equals one over two Vs. I use uh, if, uh, I intend to, uh, <coughs> to use this as a reference. Okay, this side is a Vm. Vm with a Vm, I use a different, uh, different, different color, is uh, this way. Again, to ground, right? Uh, here, there is no current here. We don't need to consider this path. Uh, 
uh, we just need to consider here. So now VM also take part of VS. Uh, I can write down VM equals VS times. Now it's this on top. This is the R plus delta R divided by overall. Overall is R plus R plus R plus delta R. Uh, uh, make a little bit uh, sim simpler. This is uh, R plus delta R. Here is a two R plus delta R. Right? That is a VM. That is a second equation. I put it here. You can see the second equation. Vm equals Vs is here. R plus delta R. R plus delta R. It's two R plus delta R. Two R plus delta R. Uh, simply, if we consider this is a voltage divider, we can uh, we can have two equations to. Uh, Describe this uh, windstone bridge. Now, what uh, the next uh, stage uh, does is VO equals VM minus VM, VF times uh, A. We look at this uh, diagram. It's a positive input is a VM, negative input is a VF. So this is this is a instrumentation amplifier. You take a difference. That is Vm minus Vf. And then you times this again. That is again of uh, instrumentation amplifier. So now Vo, I can write Vo equals A times Vm minus Vf. Right. Now that is uh, uh, an equation here. That's the equation here. Vo equals Vm minus Vf times A. Uh, in previous page, already we uh, derived what is VM, what is VF. So VM is uh, this. You can see VM. VM. You can see uh, VM is this R plus delta R divided by R plus delta, uh, 2R plus delta R. Uh, times Vs. So uh, Vf is uh, one over two Vs is here. That is here. Uh, you break those uh, two together, you have uh, A. A is uh, instrumentation amplifier gain. <coughs> because here we have a Vs, Vs, we take a, a common out. You have a A, Vs. Uh, inside is this left. And then you can merge those two items together. You have uh, this uh, result. Uh, from this uh, result, uh, that's exactly equal. There's some uh, atoms, uh, you can cancel each other. You have a uh, delta R divided by two, two R plus delta R. That is uh, a final result um, of uh, this uh, bridge so windstone bridge, uh, this uh, circuit. That is the final output here, that is VO. Now do remember, I mentioned uh, several times, delta R is very, very small. Uh, I said uh, delta R is much smaller than R. Of, of course, delta R is much smaller than 2R. In that case, we can get rid of this as approximation. Get rid of this as approximation. <coughs> when you have two atoms to compare, you can get rid of a very much smaller one. Like this one, you can't simply throw away this because there is no comparison. Right? Only when you have two atoms, you can compare, uh, you can throw, throw out, throw away this uh, small term delta R. So once you do that, if I get rid of this, uh, now this will become uh, four, two, two become four. Uh, R in bottom is R, top is uh, delta R. So this is uh, approximation solution. Uh, 
Actually, this uh, solution is uh, fairly accurate yeah? because delta is much, much smaller than R. Uh, we look at this uh, results. This uh, VO is uh, proportional to delta R. Uh, do remember delta R is a very, very small. Right? But this measurement is only reflect the change. There is a big advantage is uh, no standing value. No standing value. Uh, no standing value. If you have a very big standing value, you, and then you plus a small change, in that case, it is very, very difficult to measure that uh, small change. But in this case, there is no standing value. That is a big uh, advantage. Oh, a particular advantage of a windstone bridge over direct measurement is no standing value, which can be much larger than change in resistance. Uh, there are two, three pages. We can finish off this part. It's a single OPAM bridge. Uh, this bridge is the same as before. Um, I put uh, a small change on different side. It uh, doesn't really matter. Uh, instead of uh, instrumentation amplifier, now I use uh, a normal OPAM with a negative uh, feedback like this. All right. Now let's, in this case, you can't simply draw a line here. To, to analyze this side, to, to analyze that side. You can't do this because this will take current and here we'll take current. And that means uh, there is a loading effect. In that case, you can't simply draw a line to analyze two sides separately. Uh, a windstone bridge can work with uh, a single op-amp instead of uh, uh, instrumentation amplifier. Similar to node voltage methods, we need to assume a middle parameter V at T junction. And that is this. This uh, Here is a T junction. Look like a, a T junction there. Because you have a current here, current there, current there. But if we assume here is V, here is also V. Yeah, because you have a negative feedback, this potential, this potential is the same. So here is a V, here is also V. If here is a V, here is also V. Uh, you can see once we assume one parameter, and so in uh, at least uh, three places, so you can use the uh, same symbol to uh, represent uh, the potential. Oh. Then we can uh, write equations according to uh, Cauchy Wolf current law. All right. uh, let's, uh, uh, let's do uh, here. I have uh, Vis is here, minus V, that is a uh, potential uh, difference. Uh, you have a Vis, V. Potential difference is Vs minus V, right? That is uh, this, I divide by R1, that is a current here, that is a current. And this current must uh, go away. One way is uh, to this way, that is uh, V, here is ground, V divided by R plus one plus delta. <coughs> the difference is from previous case, there will be another current. This uh, from here to here to here to here. There is another current. Uh, the current wouldn't go this way because there is no current go inside of uh, operational amplifier. We know here is a V. That's a current here is a V divided by R two. So now you have uh, one current in, two current out. No, one current in already we work out. One is this, the second uh, uh, output current is uh, V divided by R2 is there, okay? 
Uh, that is the uh, first equation. And then we consider the other side. We consider this side. Here is a VS. Uh, that is a VS. You have a current. And this is a VS minus V. The potential here is V divided by R1. That is a current here. And this uh, current must uh, go out from this point. The one way is to uh, go this way. That is uh, V divided by R. The other way is uh, from here to here to here to here. That is uh, V minus V zero divided by R two. All right. Okay, now you have uh, three current, one current in, two current out. Uh, if I use uh, a link, uh, this is uh, in, I equal this, uh, that plus this. So that is uh, your second equation. If I cover here, it's the second equation. Vs minus V divided by R1, that is a current, current here. You have two current out, one is a V divided by R, the other one is V minus V0 divided by R2. Uh, now we have uh, two equations to uh, describe this uh, circuit. <coughs> In this, this uh, equation, to remember, uh, your Vs, your Vs actually is a constant. Vs is a constant, right? That is your, your voltage source. Uh, you have a variable that is uh, V is a variable, delta and uh, V0, you have a three. Now, obviously you need to try to get, a, get rid of uh, V that is a middle parameter so that you can link VO and delta together. <coughs> In those two equations, there are three variables, VO, V, and delta, as I indicate here. By eliminate middle parameter V, output of circuit VO can be linked to delta. Right. Uh, yeah, I do have uh, access, give you an access uh, question 15. That is uh, to derive, derive from page 12, those two equations, you derive this, uh, this result. That is your exercise. Uh, at uh, this moment, you can accept this is a uh, correct result. Uh, that is a correct result. Now, again, we need uh, to consider how to simplify this uh, result because it uh, looks quite uh, complicated. Now, similar to uh, uh, the last uh, case we discussed, yes, the delta is much smaller than one. The delta is much smaller than one. That is a feature of uh, windstone, uh, it's a string gauge. Now, in that case, we can get rid of uh, delta. I get rid of this. Actually, this one is also disappeared. It's a disappear. All right. Uh, now, what we have? We have uh, R times R1 plus R2, R1, R2. On top is R2 squared delta. Uh, you can't simply delete this. Can't simply delete this because there is no comparison. So oh, if we uh, take R1 equals R2 equals R, uh, that is uh, um, when you design your circuit, you can do so. In that case, we can simplify this result further. VO equals VS on top is delta, bottom is uh, three. So that is a uh, final result. All right, uh, note you cannot work out the gain of a windstone bridge itself and open separately because there is no loading, loading effect. All right. All right, the following pages exercise that is what I just asked you to do. 
uh, a further exercise uh, 16. Now, we finish uh, this part. This is uh, part, uh, part seven, remember? Part seven uh, sensors.